Hey Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens, Omni Dog here. Thanks for tuning in. Got a couple of books for you for root beer reviews. First of all, still sticking with my favorite Frost Top right now. I'm addicted to Frost Top. Mmm, that is good root beer. My daughter had it the other day and said she was having a spiritual experience. She loved it so much. We're going to talk about a couple of Humanoids books today. I've had a bit of a losing streak with Humanoids books recently, but I'm happy to say I got two winners here. The first one is one of the most beautiful books I have ever laid eyes on. It is called Muse, and it's got artwork by the fantastic Terry Dodson, and it is written by D.P. Filippi. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. The artwork is the reason to get this book. It is fabulous. It is simply one of the most beautiful books I have ever read, and it is some of Terry Dodson's best work. Um, he captures the female form like nobody's business. Uh, come for the art, stay for the story. Let me, let me take a good look at some of these pictures. Them's purdy pictures. It's got a bit of a steampunk element to it. Um, it is not sure where it is set in the world, in this particular world, but it is beautifully rendered wherever it is. And the story is a bit of a puzzle because I've read it twice now, and it seems to be have something to do with, I think, rescuing people from another dimension that she enters through sleep. Um, that's my best guess. It is. It doesn't spoon feed you. Um, it is a book that I think requires multiple readings. Um, but I just want you to get a good look at the artwork in this because it is really, really fabulous. Terry Dodson just does some of the most beautiful, brilliant work that you can see in this book. And uh, it involves a woman who becomes uh, a nanny for a very brilliant, troubled young man who builds all kinds of fancy machines. But when she goes to sleep, she seems to travel to another dimension. Uh, and in these dimensions, during her sleep, she has the most fantastical dreams. Um, in these dreams, she meets with a lot of adventure. Let me see. There we go. She meets with a lot of adventure, a lot of swashbuckling type stuff. And I don't want to spoil the ending for you. Not really sure what the ending means. Um, but she's, she seems to be sent to rescue uh, some missing children that are actually young ladies that Dodson gets to render beautifully. And it seems to be about the... I, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to describe. But... Um, but the artwork is so gorgeous that I was okay with with just um, uh, with a story that was a bit muddled. But it, I think if I read it again and maybe a fourth time, I'll get it more because I, th I think I have the gist of it, and I think I told it as it is. She, she, it seems she's sent into a dream world to try and rescue some people who have, have been spirited away to another dimension. That's the best way I can describe it. That's what I got out of it anyway. Um, let's see if I can find some other uh, nice renderings of Terry Dodson's. Yeah, so it is just absolutely gorgeous. And it is, I think, I did not pay very much money for it. I don't think I spent more than $15 for it. And you can see it is a big, beautiful book. So it is a very nice story with fantastic art. 
So I would highly recommend this book. Uh, it's, um, it is extremely well executed and it does need multiple readings. So I think it's a great way to spend the day, spend an hour reading this book and just being blown away by the incredible art by Terry Dodson. That's Humanoids Muse. The next Humanoids book I've got is much different, much different. It's called Miss, Better Living Through Crime. Let me read you the back so you can get an idea what this book is about. The back sums it up nicely. Set during the Roaring Twenties in New York City, Miss tells the tale of two unlikely partners in crime. Nola, a poor white girl who has learned to survive by hook or by crook since being expelled from an orphanage, and Slim, a black pimp with an uncertain past, always trying to keep one foot out of the grave. When their paths cross and their options run out, they forge a partnership as hired killers. This is their story about what it takes to survive when all you have is a gun and each other. That pretty much sums it up. These, these guys uh, meet under unusual circumstances. They become hired killers. Uh, people die along the way. Uh, they commit despicable acts and act in a heinous manner. And yet somehow, this is the strength of the story, you really grow to care about them. You actually uh, are concerned about them. You like them. You wonder what they're up to next. Uh, there, it is. It is. Um, it's. It's actually a fairly long uh, story. It doesn't. It doesn't look real big, but it is um, a fairly well detailed long story with very nice art. Um, and there's a real sense of um, time in this book. As as things go along, you can tell that time is passing, and they're going from one adventure to another. Um, as the years go on, and uh, they are partners in crime uh, because they have to to survive, but they go through a lot of uh, very interesting adventures, and um, you do get a sense um, that you could you I don't think you'd be friends with them uh, because they probably kill you, but you do. Um, start to feel for them. You get a real sense that they're people just like us set, they're desperate people in desperate times. And you do feel an affection and an affinity for them. Uh, I'm not even gonna try and pretend to pronounce these names up here. It's a French comic, obviously, but it is, um, it's translated very well. And there is death and destruction, and it is in cold blood, but it, I'm not going to say it's justified, but you can see how it would happen set in these certain situations back in some of the desperate times in the 20s. Um, it, is, it is set in America, and um, it's very well done. This is one of my favorite humanoid books ever. Um, it's called Miss Better Living Through Crime. It's called Miss because that's how he refers to her uh, as Miss all the time. And it's uh, something that grabs you. It grabbed me from the very beginning and kept reeling me in, kept me going, kept me uh, very interested. It was compelling and it was just really well done. And I think that you would be very happy with this book if you decided to buy it. Um, it is um, something that I was sorry when it was done, when it was over with. Um, I was very, uh, it came to a satisfying conclusion. Excuse me, root beer is bugging me right now. Uh, it came to a satisfying conclusion and it is just a very well executed book that hooks you in the beginning and keeps you going for the entire time of the book. So I highly recommend Miss Better Living Through Crime and Muse. So, <laughs> so check these books out. They're really good. I enjoyed them both a lot. Not expensive books, 
but really well worth it. And really, I was really happy to read a couple of humanoid books because I was, as I say, I was on a losing streak with some of the humanoid books. One of them even got a root beer bath. I think that was Savage Highway. If it didn't get a root beer bath, it deserved a root beer bath. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend those books. And I am very happy that you decided to join me. Check out my channel. I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe. Leave a comment. I always try and respond to comments. And uh, peace and love. Peace and love. Thank you very much. I'll be back again soon.